So friends, recently I asked a question on the community post about what is uh, what is that technology which you are dying to learn from scratch? And a lot of you answered Kubernetes, containers and other technologies. But what remains constant across all these technologies is the understanding of Linux and you also voted for Linux. <laughs> But generally, traditionally, if I were to teach you Linux, the traditional way of doing it was having a virtual machine uh, installed on top of Windows uh, using VirtualBox or VMware, and then uh, installing a you know installing a proper VM using uh, a Linux image. But now things have changed, and Windows has adopted Linux uh, like its own family. Do you Windows? take Linux to be your lawfully wedded partner. And now we will today understand how we can make uh, make Linux run right directly on Windows using WSL2. So WSL2 stands for Windows subsystem for Linux version 2. There was a version 1 and this is version 2. So the question is, what is it exactly? So it is a compatibility layer developed by Microsoft that allows Windows user to run Linux binary executives, uh, executables natively on Windows, natively on Windows. So it, it's, it's, it's as if, you know, you will have your Windows system, okay? And within this Windows system itself, you will be having your Linux. So it is, it is like this. Uh, we will, you know, we will be uh, understanding the architecture now. So this was WSL1. And in WSL1, we always used Windows kernel. On top of that, we deployed WSL and then all the Linux dis distribution. But then all the Linux system calls used to get converted from Linux to Windows every time, which was not the ideal of the scenarios. So then what uh, Microsoft did, they came up with, you know, with this system where they actually deployed a potential hypervisor within Windows system. And then now we have a Linux kernel, which can be enabled. And on top of that, you can have multiple uh, Linux distribution like Ubuntu, Debian, Kali Linux, anything side by side Windows. And what's the benefit of this? key features. So you will have full system call compatibility with Linux, like Windows and Linux can, you know, can talk to each other seamlessly. You will have a real Linux kernel. The performance will be much better than WSL1. Uh, you know, you will have all the full access to command line tools, GUI application, everything. And for anything for Docker, for example, if you are, uh, if you want to use it for Docker, uh, or Kubernetes or GitHub, whatever you do, everything will can uh, most of these things can be done. But then the question arises, what was virtual machine? So virtual machine was slightly different where you know, we, we had a virtualization software like uh, virtual box or VMware, it is also still it is a val valid way of uh, setting up your environment, but it's too heavy. Uh, for uh, for most of the use cases, a lot can be done just by uh, installing WSL2, which is a subsystem. If you want complete isolation, like if you want your host OS to be completely uh, separate from your Windows operating system, it could be because of security, okay? Because security is a big concern. So that's why many people might think that, no, I don't want to uh, do it uh, uh, natively. I want separation. Then if you need a full desktop environment, you need, uh, you know, very advanced kernel level operations, all those kind of use cases uh, have, to, uh, you know, need to go via dedicated virtual machine. But most of the things which we'll be doing, for example, if we need uh, to, you know, to use or create a DevOps pipeline or data engineering pipeline, GitHub, whatever you, we, you want to do can be done using WSL2. So this is a basic understanding guys. So now let's quickly install WSL2. There are multiple ways to install it. So, uh, so we'll take the easiest because we, uh, we assume that lot of people might not be familiar with the uh, command line. Uh, 
but yes you can write a sim like you can install it using command wsl hyphen hyphen install okay there's a gap between wsl and hyphen hyphen and by the way if you guys want let me know in the comment and i can give you the whole cheat sheet okay of uh, wsl commands okay you can download it so i will give you this whole cheat sheet and maybe few exercises for you to uh, work on so it will make you bit more comfortable with uh, wsl and linux overall so we have gone to wsl uh, ran uh, powershell as an administrator and let's type wsl hyphen hyphen install okay so now by default it is downloading ubuntu So distribution successfully installed. It can be launched via WSL.exe. Okay, ignore this. Yes, so I will uh, add a default user account, Anshul, and then I will uh, enter a password. So now, as you can see, we have, you know, we are within uh, the uh, Linux shell. Okay. So if I type who am I, so it does not answer that question. If I answer PWD present working directory, so it has created a mount. So now if we go to our system, we'll see something uh different this time so now uh we see this linux on left now it has created ubuntu and if you click here all these are the file systems created and under mount you know see it is actually not letting us uh, do it but basically you can access it from here so if we go to the root directory, uh, type L -A -L -S lart. So this is the mount here. CD slash mount. So now let me uh, let me create a file. Touch. This is a test dot txt okay so i have to do a sudo because i don't have enough privileges okay so this is this is a test dot txt So now if we do ls we have see we see this here and hopefully if we yeah you see this is the beauty of uh, running it natively so you have you you can actually interact between windows and linux seamlessly it is now a linux vm uh, running running locally on windows okay so you can do everything you can do everything so maybe i can uh you know i can also run sudo apt ins install okay so everything is done uh we, we don't need anything uh here so uh, for example you know you can do everything on linux you can run uh ps command okay so it will show you what is running i'm just giving you a flavor so within windows we are we have not logged into a different vm or anything so yes guys this is uh, this is how it is and this is the beauty of it uh, so friends i hope uh, now we have a running running linux vm within windows and this is just a starting point because we are going to use this in all our future uh, tutorials and whatever things we want to test if you want to learn linux you can just easily do it using your windows machine